our education project with the tutorial series in this session we will learn how to create a sqlite uh, uh, database uh, app in uh, android studio so let's start uh, and discuss something about sqlite database most important point about sqlite is that it's an open source open source means that it uh, will be available coding from everywhere and no licensing fees will be available SQLite uh, supports standard relational database features. Android comes in built in SQLite. As it is when you will uh, uh, buy an Android phone, then uh, the automatically Android SQLite was installed in that computer or mobile. To create and upgrade a database in your Android application, you create a subclass of the SQLite Open Helper class. In the constructor of your subclass, you will call the sub per method of the SQLite open helper so first of all you, what will we do we will start our project a new project Android studio uh, I will start a new Android studio project and uh, use it like an application I will name the project like uh, uh, student application like this and just start it remember that when you will use phone and tablet then try to use the same uh, API level which your mobile supports API 17 is a uh, supporting like this then I use the empty activity and uh, make it next it's finish first of all uh, we will create a class and uh, you for creating a class you need to uh, click on the uh, Java and the com example and whatever the uh, a message was written on your application like this you just click on that just wait for the gradle build uh, running after completing gradle build winning uh, you can just create a class uh, as we know that a class is just like a, a blueprint uh, for the objects all the objects are created from the class class is uh, used to create the objects class is not uh, is just a conceptual thing uh, so first of all we need a database helper class uh, that will uh, use to extend uh, towards the database SQLite open helper class and it will inherit those things okay uh, first of all right click on the com and after creating uh, building the gradle then click on the new and just use for the java class a new uh, tab was opened there and you will use the name of the class just uh, like that i am using database helper class database uh, help uh, helping whatever the name was that after that you will choose public and just click on the ok button you will use this class and you will see that there is only public class database helping and now what will you do you just uh, extend that class inherit that class and use the word extends sqlite database sqlite database open help SQLite Open Help For this thing you will create a new class and after that class now you will use to extend the class to the SQLite Open Helper class when you will create this extending that class uh, and inherit to the SQLite Open Helper class you will see a uh, two different types of errors was there to remove these errors you just need to click on that uh, corner and you will see a bulb is moving there uh, showing like this wait a minute just click on that and it will show two things uh, implement methods and just click on implement methods there are the two types of methods on create methods and on upgrade methods you just need to click on those two methods 
after creating the still error was there the two classes were imported but a constructor is needed for that so you need to add a constructor matching a super class so i will use this a constructor like this and uh, now the error was gone so what we will do uh, next it we will create a uh, create uh, uh, the main objective of how we will build other things okay so you can see that i create this thing and uh, after that we create a, a subclass uh, uh, sorry the constructor one more thing add constructor we choose the super constructor and create the database helper class after that now why what we will going to do we will create a table of like this id name surname and marks and after for that thing i will create some uh, uh, variables for that remember that sql database is not a case sensitive student.db is the name of the database it has the four columns id name surname and marks first of all we will learn how to create the database first of all create the variables of the database so first of all we will start this thing and i will use public static final database name is equal to student dot db semicolon public static final okay I, I will missing one data type string that's what string table name uh, like this student table public static final string final string column one id public static final string uh, I will use uppercase letters to show that it's a variable name static final string Surname Public Static Final String Column Four and maps so what we will do i will create a uh, four columns was there and now for the, the next step we will go to the presentation and uh, just check it out okay okay okay, okay. this is the presentation uh, so first of all we will learn how to create the database for that thing we will create database helper constructor database helper class we will just change this constructor and this was context and now the database name and next constructor null and one is the version name after that what we will do uh, we will use a command which will create a table for that thing if you know how to create a uh, work in the uh, sqlite db dot sqlite execute 
execute sql now we will use the word create table and use the table name plus table name plus concatenation after that we will use uh, two brackets and now what we will do we will use uh, the column like uh, id integer primary key auto increment id integer primary key auto increment next column is uh, name text surname text and uh, marks text marks is integer now you will see that i will not use these column 1 column 2 and column 3 and column 4 names if you want to use that then you will check it out that how to insert this name you will use concatenation column 1 like this primary key or to increment and the, like this you will concatenate column c o l u m okay column column 2 and this will be a text in this way you can write your query here i did not use column 3 or column 4 so column 3 column 4 and in this way you will use the all the variables like that and in the next step you will use this method on upgrade to check whether the table is already created or not if it was created then it will be dropped down we need to add the sql command to create the table the its command will take the parameters and then use the db dot execute sql method to run the command we need to add one more command and that was check whether the tab table already exist or not if it was exist then it will be dropped db dot execute sql drop table if exists and then we will give the table name table and uh, what we will do next we will just create on create method to check whether it was implemented or not this is the first step and but not last we will use this thing uh, to create uh, removed in the future this code will be removed in the future where for get writable a uh, database but we will need it because uh, at this time we will use to create the database okay sqlite sqlite database db is equal to and then we were use this dot get writable database writable database now what we will do next we will create uh, this uh, class variable here database helping my db 
and now we will just create the instance of that class my db is equal to new database helping and we will move the context like this this is the end of the first uh, step of creating the database you just run in and the application thank you very much